Hi guys, my name is Leanne Cope. I am an instructor for General Biology 101 with Crowder College. I just wanted to get on here real quick and kind of introduce myself and show you around class a little bit so you know what's going on. Uh, this is my 18th year teaching in education. I teach high school biology at Aurora High School. I've also taught with Crowder College since 2016 and before that I taught for two or three years with Dury. So um, I've seen all levels of biology and I'm excited to be here with you today. Um, I have a little list of things that I want to make sure we hit, um, so it shouldn't be too very long, but I just kind of wanted to get in and introduce myself and put a, put a face with the name um, so we can get the class started. A uh, little bit about me, I am married, my husband and I uh, live on Cattle Ranch, um, I have two kids, uh, we stay pretty busy between work and school and the farm, so uh, I understand uh, the balancing act that can come with being in school and, and having a life. So hopefully we can learn a lot and enjoy class and get a lot from it. Um, just a few things. Uh, if you go to course information, you will find the syllabus in the calendar. I suggest you download these, print them, read through them, mark them as reviewed online so that I know that you've uh, received the information that you're supposed to receive for the class and use those to help guide your work as you move throughout the semester. My contact information is found on there. Uh, there's a sign up for a remind group. So if you're a text messenger, um, I suggest you sign up for the remind group and we can message back and forth that way if you have questions. Um, and you know, email is always an option and then there's a discussion board forum called the Student Lounge where you can contact me. But make sure you read through that syllabus and, and schedule so you know exactly what's going on. Discussion board information has a rubric for all discussion board grading and also a little, just a couple paragraphs kind of with the expectations that I have um, for you guys as students with discussion board and responses. So check those out. All of your work will be done through course documents. I have them set up as modules. So currently you can see week one module. When you click into the module, uh, there are four, depending on the week, there's one week that has five pages um, that you will work through every week. So the first page is the weekly schedule so that you know what's due when and, and where. Page two is the lecture. You can see I've got some PDFs and PowerPoints listed. My goal is hopefully that I can record a lecture for you tonight and get that posted as soon as the, get the kids in bed and I have some free time and I'll get that taken care of for you. Uh, week, the next screen is your discussion board. You can see your prompt is listed here. I want to go ahead and do that. There are some prompts that have some extra things like videos or podcasts that you need to listen to. So make sure one of the first things you do every week is you check and see what's expected of you in the discussion board to see if you need to schedule some extra time. To actually go to the discussion board, you will click launch and that will take you to the discussion board page and you can go in and answer your questions and respond to your classmates. And then the last one, is your lab. Labs one and two um, are simply download, complete the assignment, and upload. You will not use the kit labs until lab three. Um, make sure you go on your syllabus and figure out how to order that kit lab so that you can have it by the Monday of week three. If you do that sooner rather than later, you're, you're more likely to avoid um, brush shipping or drop shipping fees. So make sure you do that as soon as possible. All of your Quizzes and tests will be taken out of the assignments portion. Each each quiz or test has a folder that you can use to reference, and you will actually go into that folder to take your test. And we'll talk more about that when the time comes. Um, discussion boards. I'm kind of excited about discussion boards. I, I worked really hard this summer and come up with some questions that are hopefully more open-ended and less um, everyone has the same answer and we're supposed to try to make a unique response to those answers. So um, I'm excited to see how discussion boards go and see if we have some good questions. If you have any questions for me, I have posted uh, a working email on staff information. You can join the Remind group or you can post in the student lounge of the discussion board and I will get those answered as soon as possible. Um, my goal is I get all of your questions answered, emails, discussion boards within uh, 24 to 48 hours, hopefully much, much, much sooner. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know and hopefully we'll have a good semester. Thanks.